Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing. Uh, we have a new watch here. But before we get to that watch, let's talk about this watch. I'm wearing my Stramansky Dolphin today. It is a 38 millimeter, at least side to side, uh, diver. I'll take it off and show it to you guys. I, I unboxed it on channel. And, uh, it is my favorite Russian watch of the ones I own. Uh, there may be another one coming. Another Russian watch. Uh, but I don't know when that will be. I think I mentioned it before. But yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool watch. And, uh, I like it a lot. But I'm going to put it aside for now for this unboxing. And uh, this is a homa, an homage. So I'll just start with that. Uh, it's an AliExpress purchase. I, I cut it. I have not pulled it out yet, but I cut it. <laughs> uh, and today we're looking at a Guanqi. Okay. Now, as I said before, this is an homage. And you'll see in a minute an homage of what? Aha! Looks like I have an extra leather strap in here. It does not feel bad, but it's not great. Uh, okay. Let's see this one. Okay. Okay. So, for any of oh, and it's uh, it's automatic. So it's an automatic. I think yeah, these affect the setting of the year and everything. So let me just remove this plastic from back here. Okay. All right. So does it have plastic on the front too? It might. It feels like something, but it might just be the glass. It might just be the glass. No, no. There's something here. Okay, there was plastic. All right. Now, there are tools here to probably change the strap. Just, yeah, it's probably to change the strap. I'm not going to change that on channel today. Uh, especially since they're not that different to begin with. So I, if I change the strap, it's not going to be to that one. Uh, and it's a butterfly clasp. Meanwhile, oh, th that's why. I guess that's the difference. I guess that's the difference between a butterfly clasp and a normal strap. But this one doesn't have... Uh, brand name on it well this one does so it, does it even no okay uh, I was looking to see if they have a button to to release the butterfly but I don't see it wow I really don't see it and it's quite tough there okay it's not the only watch I have with a butterfly clasp where it does not have a release button. But I would expect one normally. Okay, so there it is. Now, do you guys recognize what this is an homage of? Well, I'll just tell you guys. It's an homage of the Longines Master Collection. So, I'm going to try to put a side-by-side -side picture here, if I can, with the editing. I don't know, I'm still learning how to edit, guys, so I don't know. So, yeah, you can see it's moving. Yeah. And uh, this is supposed to be kind of like the Roberto Clemente has the uh, date pointer. Then, I'm trying to remember what this is. What's the 24? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So every two years... Okay. 
So it's a perpetual calendar that keeps track of, uh, uh, how do you say it? The leap years. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's what that is. Maybe. So yeah. Well, it looks pretty cool. And also there's a, uh, what do you call it? The moon phase, which is a really a day night. Uh, you will at the, yeah, this, it thinks it's September, 2022. So that needs correcting, but yeah, I'm, I need to read the instructions to figure out how to set it properly. So I'm not going to do that today here on, uh, I'm not going to make you guys wait through that, but it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, this, uh, yeah, it sets the month. All right. I'll leave it at February, February, 2022. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, let me just try to put it on to see how it fits. Have to set it there, set it there. Let me just put this one too. All right. So my trick is to put it there and then try to pull this down. So I'm going to say there, the one right in front of the line. So yeah, I probably even, I, I might change it to the other one, but I would lose the branding, the, the branding of the watch there. So I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll just pick a, a different other band altogether, one that uh, I like more. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's see. Alright. Alright, should be set there. This is another trick to make it a little smoother on the wrist. Alright. Alright. Snap. Uh, it's a little loose. I need to redo. I need to redo that one. So my Ball Engineer 3 also is a butterfly that does not have a release. Uh, so also the, the strap I got for my Westfield does not have a release either. There we go. There we are. Now I'm not setting the time. I, I will, but I'm going to stop the video and then go back come back to you guys once I've set the time but yeah this one this one's quite interesting yeah yeah I need to learn what all the features are but I, I kind of like it it looks very interesting um, but it's definitely an homage of long long jeans longings uh, master collector and I prefer to buy this one for about a hundred bucks than spend the around three thousand for the, the the longings. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, here's the the back again. Guanquin, well, Guanquin. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Water resistant, automatic, stainless steel. Yeah, pretty much a given. Almost that's pretty much a given. Movement doesn't look too bad. Seems to be running pretty solidly. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, let me know what you think of my new homage. Uh, and I'll be right back. Hold on, I need to set this thing. And I'll, I'll try to set it to the 1010. All right. Be back. We're back. All right, we're back. And I gotta say, the instructions weren't extremely helpful since they're talking about watches that aren't this one. <laughs> 
So not extremely helpful. But still I managed to figure it out. It's not too complicated. Um, and I only did it with pushing a few buttons. This one obviously sets the time. This affects the month. This affects the day on the uh, pointer date. I'm not sure what these affect yet, but it's pretty much set the way I want it to be set for the moment. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this unboxing. I purchased this on AliExpress. Again, I don't have the available 3K currently to buy the uh, the real thing, but the homage. I, I like this. I like the function of it. It's a perpetual calendar. So I might just leave it on a winder for a little while. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. The more complicated the watch, the more likely I'm, I'm going to leave it on a winder. So I don't have to reset it every time I want to use it. So yeah. Hope you're all enjoying your watches. And uh, hope you're all just doing well. Take care, everyone. Bye.